On this edition of SFA Now, we're going to take a look at the Mass Communication Department, so stay tuned. Welcome to SFA Now. I'm Tegan Mingo and will be your host today as we go in depth in the Mass Communication Department. With us today is Thomas Burke. Go ahead and tell us about yourself. I am a sophomore here at uh, SFA. Um, I, have, I am part of the radio and TV focus and I am in the crew. Now both of these things have given me like tons of opportunities to uh, work on like so many things like when I was getting into radio and TV and the first few classes are just you know introductory teach you the history of it the second row of classes boom you're working with editing boom you're working with all these things and I just enjoy the storytelling part of this major just being able to produce something and see it on a TV and I don't know just something about that resonates with me and that's why I chose it, chose it here. Okay. You gave us a nice little spiel about yourself. <laughs> I dig it. All right. So, Thomas, what was your first exposure to the mass communications major? It was at the Showcase Saturday, specifically. Um, I was still deciding my majors. I was thinking either to go into theater or to go into something else. I was still undecided. But the people there were so nice and they seem so focused like you can do this and this and this and they just kept showing me like all the technology they got to work with and all these and they had all these cool pictures of people like in the practice of like working on a show and something just switched to be like I need to do this like this is what I want to do and that showcase Saturday made me decide not only to be in mass communications, but specifically radio and TV. Okay, so basically what you're telling me is that they gave you a huge buttload of amazing things. Mm -hmm. And you were just like, I'm like, like oh, no, this is it. Mm -hmm. Don't need to decide on my major, mm -hmm. anything like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The only question at that point was, what was my minor going to be? Because <laughs> I, I, it, was, it was such a feeling. And in the first few classes, I was like, I think... I think this is what I wanted to do. And there was kind of a nervousness about that entering college because you're always like, what if I chose the wrong major? And it is okay to switch majors, but just that feeling of even though I get tired of it sometimes, even though I get stressed, I, this is still, I wouldn't rather be doing anything else. All right, that's good. Well, since that brought you here to us, how did SFA's mass communications department vary from other colleges that you visited? The other, college that I, the other colleges that I visited didn't have as much equipment or accessibility. Um, you have the office where you can check out cameras and microphones and lighting equipment, and it's, and it's posted its hours, it, its hours are posted on the side of the wall. There's just the opportunity, like the availability of things to do made me want to go to it because there was a lot more lecture stuff in the other classes I was seeing, like, but here, like, you enter the building, the studio is right here, the camera equipment is just upstairs, like, there's been so many opportunities to do hands-on projects, and just, that's what I wanted out of this program. All right, so now from what I understood, you, your focus is radio television. Mm -hmm. So right here, I'll be asking more about what's right after this, after we see this video of you in the Mass Comedy Building. Oh.
now that you've seen all the mass communications department has to offer, how about you tell us why you focused on radio television? When I, when I was deciding on kind of which one to do, radio and TV just felt the most like telling and creating stories. Like, it's specifically the classes, audio production, like working on radio shifts and working on TV shows, like constantly, like one of my classes feels like a mini newsroom, like just that ability to just be in already ingrained in basically like a mini Petri dish version of our major is kind of what made me want to do it besides the other majors because with PR, it's it's mainly writing, and nothing against PR people, but I'd rather be working with equipment, I'd rather be behind a camera, I'd rather be even editing, and it's just the equipment we get to work with. I love the equipment I, so much, I don't know how to express it, but like, we got a new audio board one time, and when it was unveiled, I was like, yes, yes, it looks so cool. I'm about to say, I know definitely working hands-on is the best experience ever versus just picturing it. Mm -hmm. So, do you feel like, since you do work hands-on, that you are more challenged in your major? Well, uh, yes, I do definitely feel challenged. Each project, uh, I feel like I require something more than it, the last project did. Like, I feel like I'm building up even, like, very similar projects, like working on the same show a while, I feel like each time you learn more and you try to improve more. And if you're not improving, you're kind of getting worse <laughs> because everyone else is improving. And if you're not, so I, I, I do feel very challenged in this field. But, but when that moment where everything's like kind of right, in that moment where you have grown, there's just this feeling of relief and this feeling of, yes, this... To answer your question, I do feel challenged. <laughs> no, you're um, doing good. It's, yeah, I sometimes I'll struggle with it and sometimes I'll get frustrated. But when it's done and I can rest until the next project, that, that, that's, that's the feeling that I'm just trying to chase throughout, this, throughout my college career. So the whole time you're just a bundle of nerves this whole time. <laughs> when you're challenged, you're like, yeah. oh my god, what's going on? And then you're like, OK, I can breathe for like two seconds and then move on to the <laughs> next thing. Well, it, yeah, because it's kind of like each major gives its own form of stress, and it's just the one you can handle the best. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. I mean, we're the same major. <laughs> but um, so how do you feel about the size of the classrooms and the manageability of all the work that you're given? Um, I feel like the size of the classrooms is very nice, and it's not big enough that you feel lost. You feel like the professor uh, knows your name, because they do. But it's also big enough that there's kind of like a sense of camaraderie. Like, when grades gets passed out, we all talk about it and we trade condolences and congr congratulations with each other. So I think the class size is like fairly well balanced. With the work, sometimes there's that panic moment of it just keeps coming and piling in. But once you start getting work done and you start making fast progress, and that's when, so it's kind of a little bit on, you're front loaded, but once you get past that, it starts smoothing out. All right, so I heard that you're a part of the crew. Can you explain what that is? The crew basically just helps you work on a, sh a small show production without the pressure of a professor or grades being involved, it kind of gives you a more laid back approach where you can kind of get the experience without this experience, if you make a mistake, costing you a grade. Um, it's helped me get experience with things I'll need in a much later classes. Um, but like each time we work on the crew, uh, everyone gets assigned something, and it's this this big group project that everyone wants to be in because they signed up to be a part of like this club, and just continuously producing content that you want to produce. The other thing is that it's in almost entirely student driven. Like 
you're deciding what segments get in, you're writing those segments and you're producing those segments and just getting that experience before it's for a grade and before it's more structured just helps smoothen the transition. And um, it's, it's a club I would recommend getting into if you're going to be in radio and TV. Okay, so definitely look on for that freshman, mm -hmm. okay? But since you did speak of content, what shows is the c crew producing and how, like, can you tell us a little bit about each one? Mm -hmm. So the crew produces one main show and two side shows. The first show is The Mix, where everyone works on The Mix. And The Mix is kind of entertainment news, because that's what we want to talk about. Um, and it's like video game, comic books, movies, celebrity, YouTube, just an amalgamation of everything that is entertainment. And we talk about, like, updates, new seasons coming out, um, uh, scandals with celebrities, just kind of news of the entertainment world. And it's this, this and it's our biggest production. Um, we all, uh, each, uh, one week we plan it, and the next week we produce it. The other side, and the side shows are The Loop, which is more, like, quick, uh, just a quick update on a lot more harder news subjects. It's a very small production, um, just to get you in the loop. Uh, and the other show is actually what I produce. It's um, Dice Capades. It is a recorded uh, D&D session where I am the host and dungeon master. And we play D&D &D, uh, for the entertainment of SFA TV2 uh, watchers. Okay, so you're doing big things in the crew. They're offering you a lot of different windows, which... It's is good, for mm -hmm. sure. So you did speak a little bit on your opportunities offered in the crew. Can you branch a little bit more on what it offers to other people? Um, well, it offers you an example of just all this equipment, all these studio positions that you will get accustomed to. It will all just, you'll get experience with all of them. All right. Well, thank you so much, Thomas, for being here with us today, speaking about the Mass Comm Department. Mm -hmm. I definitely know y'all should check it out for sure. Mm -hmm. And you are watching SFA Now with me, Piggy Mingo.